A gorilla story, which I don't think Norma well, thinks is a very good one either. <laughs> Do you know that one, Norma? Okay, well, it's this. Remember it. Well, it's this guy who wakes up in, 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 in let's say, the suburbs of, 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 of Decatur, right? And he sees this gorilla up a tree in his garden. And he thinks, well, that's unusual. I mean, you know, we don't usually get gorillas here. But anyway, he thinks we'd better, we'd better do something about it, so. So he rings the, the local zoo and says, you know, we've got, got a gorilla on my can you? And they say, no, no, we, we don't collect gorillas. We've got our own here. And so he says, well, well, what should I do about it? Oh, well, I'll try and ring the, the police, you know. So he rings the police and cops say, no, no, I, we don't catch gorillas, you know. That's, that's not our job. Sorry, ma'am. And he says, well, well, I'll try the fire department. The Same thing, you know, he goes through. And, and the last guy, the fire department guy, said, and he says, well, we don't. He says, well, who do I ring? He says, why don't you look in the yellow pages? <laughs> so he thinks to himself, oh, well, what a row of rubbish. And he looks down the yellow pages, and under G, he says, look, oh, see, gorilla catcher. He says, oh, bloody hell, this is amazing, I never knew. And so he rings this guy and he says, look, I got this gorilla up in my tree. Can you come and catch him? Yep, sure. That's, that's what we do for a living. <laughs> so, so he says, all right, but look, let me make one thing quite certain. I don't want the gorilla hurt, you see? Uh, you, you, you can assure me on that. Oh, no, sir, we wouldn't hurt your gorilla, you see. We'll be there in about 10 minutes. So sure enough, 10 minutes later, big yellow van pulls up. And out gets this guy with a great big neck on his shoulder. And there's another guy gets out. And he's, he's, he's holding a, a dog on a leash, you know, one of these big pit bull types with spikes sticking out of its collar, you know. And, uh, and, and a third guy gets out and he's got a gun in his hand, you see. And so the owner of the house says, well, what's the, what's the procedure? So the girl like I said, well, the procedure is very simple. He says, I go up the tree and he says, I wrestle with the gorilla and I'm, I'm pretty damn good at this, you see. And I throw the gorilla out of the tree and he falls on the ground, you see. And then we let the dog loose and the dog goes straight between his legs, you see. And the gorilla puts his hands down to protect his sort of genital area, you see. And then my, he throws the net over him while his hands are down. And we've, we've caught him, you see? No problem. So the owner said, yeah, but, but you've got a guy with a gun here. Well, I told you I didn't want any damn. What, what's the gun doing? Said, ah, so I'm glad you reminded me. He <laughs> said, very, very occasionally, the gorilla throws me out of the tree. And in that case, I want you to shoot the damn dog. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember it. I, I knew I knew it, but I couldn't remember it. I knew Norma was, was studying, trying to remember that one. You didn't remember that one, huh? I didn't remember it. Did you check your cheater for that? <laughs> or did you just remember that, Michael? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just uh, popped up. <laughs> it's just popped up.